Okay, I have actually played through most of the game at this point. I have a pretty good idea of what's going on, though it is still a little bit confusing, especially at this point in time. What part of the game are we at again? So, okay, I admit I have not been watching this, like, very, very closely, but here's my impression. So, they're all in the, the, the robot bodies, and they're trying to fight the robots that are attacking them. And they're in a city right now, and this is in the far future, but then there's time so that back in time, 40, say 40 years ago, um, or even 40 years from now, uh, and then the present day, and then 40 years before that, during the war before it ended, um, there are lots of time travel that take place through a shrine. You can only time travel 40 years up, 40 years back, and it has to be in this freaking shrine, this one shrine. It doesn't look like a shrine all the time. It did in 1944. But it's just, it's rubble in the future. So you, they go into the future and they have character conflicts and they forget things about what they were. And there's a, there's a cat um, who looks like Morgana, but it's actually completely different because he sounds like Alan Rickman. Um, I didn't go back and so hear what that actually sounds like, but I can kind of imagine. I like that that's the part you got from that. Um, and then there's this girl who uh, is really into UFOs and meets a robot and... The robot convinces her to continue not ever wearing pants. Um, and it's a trend that clearly continues throughout the game. As you can see, at this point, none of them are wearing any clothes That's the at all. other part that you really remembered from the last episode. Um, and then there was one that was Sunde Ray, one that was Yande Ray, And then I still don't know what those mean, so that doesn't mean anything to me. But um, I remember I was going to say we should play the Yande Ray one, but then I don't know if that's any better but you told me to choose somebody and i'm like well are we going to choose someone just arbitrarily or are we going to know anything about them and i was thinking we could do it well knowing nothing about them because that way it wouldn't expose me for what i wanted to see so badly and then you told me that there was well then there's this robot and it turns out it's like et which we were talking about was that big in japan was it as big in japan as it was in the u.s was it a whole <laughs> cultural the other phenomenon? other part you remember from the last episode <laughs> and then uh then there was like a video and they all like videos they're just obsessed with videos they're all film nerds they all watch vhs they tapes are all it's film nerds. 1985 and that's what we do we sit around and we watch movies like the classic et from the united states and et war of the world terminator all legally distinct, though, because, you know, copyright law. And, and we go back in time, and then we tr show 1944 Japan what happens in the movie E.T. so that they can prepare to uh, monetize it when it gets to, when it, that time comes around to them. Turn um, it into they also an get NFT, some, yes. But they also are going to get some robots, and they're going to conquer the world with that if they get it in time, but they won't because... It's got a, it's a, like an alternate timeline, and we can't change how time works, so we have to go with that. Now, I'm going to have to stop you right here. Oh, no, okay. I don't have to stop you right here, but I'm going to do it anyway for some reason. Was, was that was that all right? Was that all mostly what happened? Uh, no, that was all actually completely incorrect. Ah, uh, dang. None of that was, <laughs> none of anything you said there was correct. But I, but I was trying, Except right? for the character being pantsless all the time. That is true. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, I remember that for some reason. And, and the characters uh, all being film... Well, yeah, half the characters being film nerds. Yeah. The characters it, we've been introduced to so far well, are huge film nerds. Seems like everyone is a film nerd, but it's all... Actually, no, that's... Uh, no, no, wait. That's not correct. Oh, well, it partially correct. I get no respect. So, but no, I thought they were just like otherwise they were like the normal archetyped individual novel, like the class rap type, the Yande Ray, uh, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's that's actually true. The Jack, the uh, delinquent. The delinquent. We got two delinquents. Delinquents. They are a juvenile delinquent. Yes. Yes. So yeah, they are. I mean, the funny thing is that it's like I just, that's you know. Given everything that you described there and what I know about the future of this game is just like I don't. We, we've gotten to a point where I don't know how to describe this series. I don't know what we're doing. In the, well, okay. I do know what we're doing in the series. We are fighting giant robots. That is, in fact, mm -hmm. uh, currently occurring and will be... Okay. 
I would say will be occurring throughout the game, except it won't because the story portion of it, you know, all the visual novel portion takes place before we actually fight robots. And <laughs> which is which took me a little while to figure out in the game, to be honest. But I'll, I, I might as well just say that right now because it is otherwise not super clear. Okay, so it, 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 it's happening after the events of the main story, and then after that's done, once you get to the, the main story, then you won't be playing the game. You won't be playing these portions anyway. So you, you no, I gotta, I gotta tell you, I, I talked about before how, you know, at least for... After the tutorial, there, there are three areas. There are three areas mm -hmm. you go to, ten different battles that you fight, basically. I see. And I have... Uh, I have yet to do the final two because you need to finish every one of the characters' storylines before that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all 13 of them. <laughs> all 13 of those Sentinels. And then... And then it opens up the final two battles. The final two, like, waves of the third area. But up until that point, on every single one of those battles, I've gotten an S rank. Nice. And really, not First e try. Not even applying your... your game no actually my strategy has been i just summon a bunch of like auto turrets <laughs> oh jeez! <laughs> it's just like i take out all the characters that have the auto turrets and the auto turrets win the game for me and that's and that's why we're not going to be seeing the gameplay for the most part yeah and it's totally i mean so it's not well it's it not, looks really cool it, it, there's like a lot of there, there were actually so during one of the battles there was actually so many particle effects going on that game really started to chug oh wow you know, they put a lot of enemies in the game. The only thing is that it's just... I don't know. It, it's... Gameplay-wise... Uh, and... I I even tried recording, like, the battles at least, you know, because they have the... They have the... the Cutscenes before and after, but... To be honest, a lot of them are just referring to stuff that happened in the character storylines anyway, so it's not that important. <laughs> I'm still going to record the final two battles because, you know, I mean, that's the one that you get to when you defeat everything. So, yeah. But it's just, yo, the, uh, it's kind of a preview of what we're going to be seeing eventually when it come when we get out of the tutorial. I, <laughs> I, I, ref I refer to it like Shrek refers to himself as, Having layers like onions, except Shrek doesn't have layers. Shrek has two layers. He's mm -hmm. he's the, the the monster and the the good-hearted man underneath. He's he's Doctor Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster, and that's it. And that's it. It's just there's there's two layers. He's not a he's not an onion. He's a box. Well, he's a, he's a scallion. He's a he's, he's or... a he's a chest of drawers, and then you open that up, and there's and there's there's Shrek inside. Like, hey, hey, Shrek, I found you. You're it now. Or like garlic or something. You peel it. The, the one layer of garlic, and then it, you're it's done. It's like an orange, except oranges have multiple slices associated with them, so that's not the same thing. Why, why would you literally compare onions and oranges? Can't even. Why, they're both delicious. I love them. Yes, in their own way, very different ways. I was just suggesting, you know, scallions or garlic, you know, to go with the metaphor. I, because, I said peanuts. And because they, I said peanuts, or I said like any sort of nut. It's I like mean, a chestnut. You just break it open, and you got the. But this game is not like that. This game has multiple layers, and I do mean oh, that in no, the I, most um actually literal sense, where there is there is like an outer layer of how game works and then there's like the inner layer where we fight giant robots with robots and, and actually the scallion doesn't really work because i'm thinking about it and that's like the leaves of the onion whereas it's not like the ball but you know the, the root of the it's a totally different part of the Wait, onion. scallions are just like tiny tiny they're, they're like a cross between garlic and onion where they're just like tiny onions yeah but they're like the uh, like it's mostly the like the green part above the ground then what am i thinking of that's like the tiny onions. I, I mean, we might be thinking the same one. I, I mean, I usually get them as green onions, but I think. Well, this is this is where I go and fact check on Wikipedia again. That would be a good Google idea. Instead of well, why don't we just talk this out? Let's figure this out by talking it through. <laughs> we could also just say that it's just like this game has. Yo, this game is okay. Even at this point in time, we already know about a few of the a few of the the way that this game facilitates those layers. 
Uh, we have characters just outright lying to each other or not telling them the entire truth. We have amnesia. We have dreams of what might be alternate timelines. We have actual time travel going on too and characters being displaced from time and characters being displaced from time in a way that we, we haven't even begun to fully understand just yet. And it actually goes even further from there into the amount of like misdirection and smoke and mirrors that happens to make the game this game work. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. and uh, it's like me knowing about that. It's just I'm. Time to go. It's just normally in a game like this, playing it ahead of time doesn't make that much of a difference. Here, I don't know. I don't know. Like, That's all you had to tell me what was even happening. Well, that, that last scene was kind of like a good encapsulation. Like, we don't know what the deal is with these characters yet, I feel like. We're not, we haven't established it. So we have to have, um, you know, background knowledge in order to appreciate why, you know. What... I mean, Waj Wajima is, he's a generic punk uh -huh. guy. And yeah. Shu Amiguchi beat him up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Scallions are actually the... Uh... Scallions are actually the um the, the green the thing. Okay, I, I didn't know that. I was What's yeah, yeah, I guess I was thinking of Chai specifically. Oh yeah, yeah, Chai. Shall I was thinking shallot. of Chai. You were thinking there of Chai. Yeah, yeah, okay. There we go. Okay, that's why that that did the similar but not not similar enough. Yes. Damn, I thought I was right. That scallions were the thing. Well, I always I confuse those. Two. I always mix them up with scallops, um, and then I feel like there's another. <laughs> scallops are a little bit different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those, those are those just a little bit. Those are the onions of the sea. Yeah. No. 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 They can't, they're more like the, the. They kind of taste like lobster. Kind of buttery. Yeah. I mean, they're they're like shellfish, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're the ones that kind of are like like just like a a clump of. Yeah, and they make them into like medallion type of things, right? Yeah, yeah. They're like little. They're, they're like oysters without a shell, and I don't know if that they actually don't have shells or if that's just how they come packaged. Like if that's how they're caught, but like. <laughs> I gotta go right back to my phone. <laughs> uh, the old fact checking um, the series that that this one, it, it always comes back to food and fact checking on the internet. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I'm driving this. I'm the one who's creating these distractions. Let's just be absolutely clear on that. Yo, this game is long, let me tell you. I still have not... I, I got like 13 raws here of minimum two hours each that I got to go comb through. I, and, and try and figure out how I'm going... We're still going to do that thing where I'm going to have you choose a character. Okay. We're like 13 episodes. Because you know what? I, I was saying before that like some care they're like hey not all the characters are created equal some of them have more revelations that's not true at all they all have they're all just all it, over the place it's, it's the kind of thing where they go through this kind of semi predetermined sequence of uh, here's the plot beats and stuff and here's you know like they don't write them completely but they, differently they learn uh, they all learn the truth in their own they, way. No, they learn different truths. <laughs> but those <laughs> truths overlap with other truths. They, they either overlap or they contradict each other in a way that means one of them is lying, or there's androids, or there's robots, or they it's the don't future. know just yet. Or it's the alternate, or it's the. <laughs> it's, dream that's world. the thing I'm talking about with the layers, where it's just like some characters, some characters think they know the truth, but they don't know the truth. Uh -huh. <laughs> There, there, there are characters that don't know the truth. There are characters that think they know the truth. There are characters that kind of know the actual truth, but not the actual truth. And then there are characters who actually know the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay. That well, sort of thing. Well, maybe, maybe the way to do this would be to go in order of my own ignorance. Like, which of the characters are extremely ignorant? Maybe this is because... They're all extremely... What? No, they're all extremely ignorant. <laughs> oh, okay. But... Let's go from dumbest. It's still a vanillaware game. Not out of options yet. Yep. It is still a vanillaware game. Now, is this a character that we've dealt with before? Oh, uh, Shu Shu Amaguchi? Or are you talking about um? Yeah, um, I mean, I guess. We, I, I'm talking about the one on the left. Yes. But lady is the is the school nurse. Oh oh. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, except this time she's, oh, that's uh, right. she's we, wearing the, we, the latex suit. We did deal with her, yes. It, it's still a Vanillaware game when you first said that. <laughs> it is still a Vanillaware game where she cannot <laughs> she cannot face the camera. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you need to say that every time that she appears on screen, including in her episode. And I think we should do that one first. Oh, she doesn't get an episode. Oh, she doesn't. Okay. okay. Well, oh, no. Nah, well. Basically, everything's <laughs> operational aside from. She appears in a lot of the episodes, but she does not get her own episode. She probably appears. Uh, Ch Chihiro Morimura. Okay. She, she, because the thing is, all the characters are the ones that actually hey, pilot the, um, the the sentinels, mm -hmm. and she does not pilot a set. I think that's a Dungeon Girl by reference, Chihiro. I, I, I don't know. No, Chihiro is just the name. <laughs> oh, okay. I've got just enough power to send you. Wait, is it Chihiro or Chihaya? I, I don't I don't remember. Mor no Mori Mori Murrow, yes. <laughs> There's so many characters in this game you don't even know. <laughs> like you know we haven't even been introduced to a lot of the characters in this game. Okay. Mori Murrow, there you go. <laughs> okay, Mori Murrow. Morimura. So I, they were, so both of the things I said were wrong. <laughs> because that's, oh my god. And she's such a central character. She's both a school nurse and a, and a person that cannot face the camera. Mm -hmm. Anyway, back to Shuamaguchi's apartment. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a very interesting sequence. That's so is Shuamaguchi just like rich? Like, is that their? Shuamaguchi is a rich kid. Okay, he's gone too far, but it doesn't really matter anyway. He can rely on the old man's money. <laughs> he can rely on the old man's money. That's right. We're getting paralyzer, and then we got rich girl. <laughs> like a kid who's been this watching the, uh, too much anime. I still remember how the ground yeah. felt under my feet. This is this is what happens when you. <laughs> this game is sort of a fever dream of like too much anime. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Where it's like, yeah, we got we got like we got giant robots, and then we also got like, you know, uh, movies and idols and everything else, <laughs> all the science fiction concepts you could possibly want. This scene is kind of nauseating, like this whole blue background. This kind of reminds me too much of a poorly writ, you know, a poorly lit apartment. I don't like it. A poorly lit apartment in the eighties. Well, yes. more, more specifically, being lit by a by a CRT yes. TV. Yes, exactly. I actually like from an artistic standpoint, it is kind of like they did a really good job with it. I love like the style, the visual style of the set and stuff. Oh, I think like, the style of this game looks great. Yes. I feel like that is intended to make me feel nauseous. <laughs> like that flickering. Now it's a drop. And then this happens. <laughs> now, is that flickering happening on your screen? I'm watching this through Discord. Too. Oh, no, that's that's entirely intentional. Okay, okay. You know, it is as if you are uh, recording a CRT with a, uh, with a video camera. Yeah. You're the only one I can oh, also this. <laughs> what the heck? Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're the only one who can help. That's right. And now we have e now there's even more. Try and fit this in with everything else you know about the storyline. <laughs> Come on, try it. Do it. Tell me how this works. I mean, we, we tell me how this works with the rest of the storylines. We've, we've already established that I know absolutely nothing about this game, but I'm sure using time travel or some kind of technology like that, that's how they're communicating because they have time travel. They have access to time travel, so everything can be explained yes. by that. They do. But only between um, periods of 40 years. By the way, you said um, between two 40-year periods, the 40s and the, the 2000s. Nope. Goes all the way up to the 2100s. Oh, it does? Okay. So I thought it was just... No, I thought it was 1944 to 2064. Or, I guess... uh, nope. It actually goes up to 20... Uh, to, to, to 2104. <laughs> okay. Yes. Which it does not fit into that pattern at all as a math major, I have to point out. <laughs> okay, whatever the, the whatever the proper integer of 40 is. I don't know, math, math, math. It's probably in the year 21, 24, or 5, you know, that kind of thing. Something like that. I don't know. Whatever. 
You gotta be the end of the Look, world. Look, that's, 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 these the, are the parts that it goes up to. Where they explain what's going on in this game. No, they don't. Oh. <laughs> It's oh no, don't worry. We'll 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 get we'll get very intimately familiar with the going ons of the the twenty one hundreds, but uh, it will not explain what's going it's on. It's just a year that's really far hands. It doesn't have any more answers. It doesn't make any more sense in the year. I just, All right. It, it pro, it, it, I think that was pretty. Uh, good. It's a big old. It's a big old puzzle puzzly puzzle storyline. <laughs> <laughs> Which normally I like. I'm, I'm, I'm usually like a huge fan of, of trying to piece together storylines. But the, this game also has so many like y y extremely frag. It's told in such an extremely fragmented way. It has so many things meant to misdirect you. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's filled with lies. And, and there's a bunch of things right now that, hey, you, d keep in mind the... The Morimura also being latex suit lady, and also uh, idols talking to Shu Amaguchi through his television, because that's going to be important. Mm -hmm. Okay. All of this stuff is important. Now, <laughs> go on. I could not keep up with the pace of information in this case. There's so much happening, and there's so much fragmenting. And, and, and the weird all... thing is that you still know very little about the big robots that we're actually fighting, I... don't you? Yeah, yeah. Also, I <laughs> isn't that's that's something that I that's something that I noticed even when we were just doing the first episode of this, which of course was done immediately after I recorded. Oh, I only pl only played an hour of the game at that time, and I was just like, boy, we sure know like very little about the Dimos, oh. uh, despite the fact that they are the major antagonist of the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet they're in the 2100s right now. I bet that's where we are now. No, this, I think this is... No, 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 we, we, we saw the very first scene of the game was, um... Was, uh, uh Ann Takamaki girl. Uh-huh. Uh, going and fighting. So I believe this is happening in the 80s. Okay, oh yeah, well, you just say Ann Takamaki, I mean... And Takamaki, yes. Like, her name is something Fuyasaka, but I've already forgotten her first name because there's too many characters in this game. Some of those guys look pretty tough. I'm glad to see that that's also true for, like, you know, somebody who literally has learned the language. But it's like, okay, these are a lot of names to keep track of. I don't care. That's, there's just... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The, the amount of... Look, here's the thing. I have a pretty good idea of everything that's going on and where the story is going at this point, and I still have like five more character storylines to go through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which for a game that like literally lives and then consequently dies on its twists is a very weird experience. Well, you know what? It's I actually kind of like it. I'm kind of having fun with it. it I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it, it is funny that you mentioned that because it's like 8 out of 13 is uh, the Fibonacci thing, which is, you know, in plots, that's famously, that's where you're supposed to make the turn. That's where you're supposed to make the big mind blade. This is not a math plot. We're not doing math plots. Don't worry about okay. that one. But I mean, you're... you're in case you were thinking that there was going to be like mathematics involved in some like you've seen in some visual novels no <laughs> i actually already knew base nine and it made all the puzzles really trippy like half the puzzles are like oh, oh my god i uh now that you say that it's like everything oh that's of course of course in that game they were gonna do that <laughs> half the plots are actually just like well what happens if we add numbers and take their and they use this really complicated thing but it's like it's just notary addition and you just take the last digit. It's just, you know, everything adds up to, you know. Hey, baby, it's a nonary game. You should have seen that coming. Yeah. I, mean, I, I guess you did. <laughs> I understand. I'm just like, if you know how to add Modulo 9, a lot of that game becomes pretty trivial in terms of, like, the addition. I mean, it's interesting that they tell a story. They use that mechanic of nonary addition to tell a story. That is incredibly impressive. Don't get me wrong. This game already has amnesia, time travel, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> magic, magic cats, television idols. It's like... It, uh, it's... Mm -hmm. I, I, gotta, I gotta kind of applaud them in some ways. It is, it is interesting to see a game that is so unabashedly just like... Here's a bunch of stuff. No, you <laughs> you're never. You're not gonna understand. See, Good luck. <laughs> see, that's where you, you made a mistake. You never have to defend anime. You never have to defend visual novels. You never have to defend any of this. But stuff. I kind of like it. I okay. Kinda, I, I was saying before we yeah. started up this episode that 
I'm sort of enjoying this, but if a game ever tries to do this again, I'm going to be very frustrated with it. Yeah, I'm curious. You might actually end up hating like other visual novels that are kind of in this style. Like, Well, the visual novels of this style, like the ones we were talking about last time with time loops and everything. But it's just like, at that point in time, I'm just going to be like, okay, come on. Mm -hmm. Well, Look, I already went through this once with 13 Sentinels. You can't just do it again. Yeah. And that, that's the whole thing. Where, for all I know, this is this is more or less like a standard way that some visual novels are told. I talked about how I just watched the Steins Gate anime, and I get the feeling that that game, or the, the, the visual novel that it was based on, especially after seeing like the first episode and kind of experiencing what that was like, sort of more or less the same thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, you Though, given how I know how that entire uh, anime turns out, that I don't think it ever gets this, the, the, that we get nearly as many Shrek layers. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, I mean, we, we had this with, like, on the channel, the AAA games. Like, Ghost of Tsushima was a great little game. Like, you did every quest. You you enjoyed it. A bit, quite a bit, it seems like, even, you know, for its shortcomings. And then you played Horizon uh, true, Zero Dawn. True, true. This is a good comparison. And then you played Horizon Zero Dawn, and you're like, I can't stand this. All these stupid Well, to be quests. fair, that is also a very different style of gameplay, too. <laughs> I mean, it was supposed that to... Was, that was the biggest decision. Not, not the way you played it. <laughs> it's funny. Eventually, I had to acquiesce to to <laughs> playing the game. It wasn't intended because otherwise it got way too hard. <laughs> when they started to throw just like literal gigantic walking guns at you. Yeah. You can't go melee a walking gun. <laughs> yeah, with the exhaust, like the, the Death Star exhaust port weakness is like they go down if you can just shoot an arrow. But anything else yeah. you do to them, it's like hitting the dust. And, and like, they also have flamethrower feet, so, you know. <laughs> trying to destroy the Death Star like a pinata. Like, and it takes, you know, years. Yeah, yeah, it's, but, but, but you know, huh? what I'm trying to say here is that I do think that if I was a little bit more amicable to the, uh, to the gameplay style, that I don't know what I have enjoyed all that much more. That's hard to say. Mm-hmm. I mean, but like... Anyway, here's another one of the 13. Yep. Hey, Sakigahara. This is the 1944 child, right? Like, or, you know, the... Uh... No. Okay. <laughs> You're thinking of uh, Keitaro Mira. Oh, okay. Damn. He wears a hat and has a scar on his forehead. Okay. Where'd he go? This guy's being chased around by... We saw the men in black before. That was in Natsuno's storyline with the... The E.T. E. storyline with the girl that doesn't wear pants. Oh, right, right. right yes. yeah. we, 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 we know that men in black are a thing in this. That there are conspiratorial forces on top of everything well, there else were, in this There game. would have to be if there are aliens. I mean, how else could you... Yes, if... Oh, boy. Are there aliens? Are there aliens? <laughs> we'll see. I mean... Well, not to tell you anything right now. Imagine somebody like trying to save their life and be like, uh, you're actually from an alternate dimension. Uh, are you well, not an alternate dimension, but an alternate timeline, okay. which is effectively an alternate dimension, but also okay. the future. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys told to you through dreams. Could that really be true? But unfortunately, the people that are having dreams are also amnesiacs. There's no way I'd be able to tell. Yeah, that's this is. They're gone. Well, once again, I want I want to get you to just like uh, com I want I want to get you to like try to explain the story. Okay. Well, I, I, well, right there, I, I'm a little bit of a you know a storytelling expert. I've read all all of Joseph Campbell's work. I read about you know all the different archetypes in um, society and stuff. I, I totally I, I've been studying literary analysis and everything. And so what? why is that guy like on the ground though? Like what happened there? Oh, oh that's right. The, the guy pressed the button that made the scene transition that whapped him in the face and that's why he's on the ground now. He time tra traveled He time traveled to the ground, yes. Yeah, he time traveled. He time traveled to a timeline where this guy was unconscious. He went one second into the future, and the Earth just moved, slammed into him. Old communication device. Yeah, yeah. You know how the Earth rotates, so that if you 
Time travel. <laughs> one second, it tramples one so, foot. So basically, his shoes got <laughs> stuck in the roof and he tripped. <laughs> yeah. That is... That it's, it's, they explicitly... Well, well, because... Okay, on top of everything else, I do want to remind everybody that time travel is only possible in 40-year increments. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, well at just, the just altar. Just to quickly point no, that no, one he, out again. He tried to travel outside the altar. I was just going to... I was actually just going to say that. Because... <laughs> Like, it's so stupid, because it's just a, a, a bit we're doing. Well, anyway, like... uh, speaking of your, you know, we were actually talking a little bit about your uh, your literary um, bona fides last time as well, where I do believe that you, it's actually that after we were done with the previous episode, that you did compare uh, teenagers piloting giant robots to save the Earth to to the monomyth in, in basically well, again, as in I'm... fiction. I, I'm a little bit of a Joseph Campbell expert, as I've been saying, and uh, I was. And I do believe that he was he was deep into well, into well, the thing uh, is he, that, that, that uh, method of storytelling. That's what um, in the AR where anime exists in Joseph Campbell's time, he was huge in anime. He believed reality that anime, or timeline. He believed that specifically Evangelion would be the key to uncovering the monomyth like he was basing the monomyth on that like it was originally going to be called the anamonomyth but he had you know his handlers talked him out of that say no we, we can't do that we can't endorse that anime it's not not, not the time yet you know yeah the church railed against anime <laughs> yeah he, he would never be able to be published he, in fact would be excommunicated he would have been he, he would have been incredibly that. excommunicated so much so that he couldn't be unexcommunicated I don't, I don't, I think that's already how excommunication works. <laughs> Are, you know, that's actually a question. Is there anybody who has gotten excommunicated that has gotten back into the Well, well what, what happens is when you get excommunicated, they give you a, a, they do give you like a phone and they can contact you later and they can undo it. But you only get w w one chance. If, if you get, if you screw up bad enough or it's the second time, obviously, then they excommunicate you. You don't get the phone. So they can't call you back. Can't get back into communication. This is a vanillaware game, by the way. Hey, is that? <laughs> Are you okay? And is that the school nurse? You know it? who it is. It's the same person. Okay. She isn't breathing. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> it's, a, it's a very form-fitting lab coat. Okay, <laughs> she had it specially tailored. Well, she she had the same same tailor who made that like motorcycle jacket. Is it possible that? Like they they. Was it they have a file. They have a file folder at the tailor with her dimensions. <laughs> the exact dimensions. <laughs> You've never seen clothes form fit like this. The gun appears to be the most likely cause of death. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this gun appears to be the cause of death, going back to what you were talking about before. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I feel like I would have uncovered a lot of twists in this game even more if we did this like Persona in in the Persona Five style. Yeah, yeah. With the with the um, with the the, the the subtitling and everything. Well, I mean, you you did see the central twist of Persona Five, which you know, with the oh, with the famous uh, baked good, the, the famous pancake scene that, yes. that was out of place. <laughs> That was like that the was so clever. That might... I thought it was so clever, and then it's just like as as Persona Five has a way of doing. It makes you feel so much stupider than when you started playing. Honestly, it might be the only redeeming part of that entire game is that that. Oh twist. come on! I think we all kind of liked the the. the there are two things that I really liked, at least story wise, and that was kind of the part near the end with the big twist. Uh -huh. Even though it took way too long to get to once again, mm -hmm. and then of course Shido, she does great. <laughs> oh yeah, and, and any any I, I I even said all the I was just recently doing Octopath Traveler, and that does have a man who becomes a big muscle muscle monster, and I'm just like, oh, but he doesn't flex to become even more well. powerful. That's the that was the deciding factor with Shido. Maruki and post um, post Royal Goru or Goro Akechi, uh, we're we're pretty much. Those were redeeming factors, but it's kind of like it was. Oh, no. It was. It was better. Yeah. Still kind of frustrating. As always, the characters, the main characters, are still kind of stu too frustrating. You know, that's something with this game. It's like I never feel like these characters are incredibly stupid idiots that don't know how to do anything. Uh -huh. They're just all suffering from amnesia. Yeah, yeah, and that's a lot more forgivable. 
In fact, I think, like, it, it's a really common thing in mysteries, because you just, it just makes Frustratingly it. common in a lot of video games, but you know what, whatever. It's kind of like, well, we can't do an idiot plot because yeah, hey, it's a Hey, it's new story. to me. Yeah, I mean, like... This sort of storytelling is new to me. Like, well, I mean, it, it's like, you can't do an idiot plot because you're actually trying to make something that you want the reader, like an intellectual journey that you want the reader to go on, even if it's just, you know, twist after twist after twist. Uh, you still want to have a little bit of that. Um, but, like, that, that amnesia allows the character to discover information. I mean, so Phoenix Wright does it, too. Like, you'll occasionally just get hit on the head if you'll wake up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good introduction into a world when character uh -huh. doesn't actually know anything about it. Yeah. They work as, an, uh, as a, uh, a reader surrogate and blah, blah, blah. But that's what makes it so overdone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Also, again, the, the amnesia in this plot is is to facilitate a lot of wacky twists later on. So Yeah, it's like, well, I mean, it's a time travel plot and the characters are aware of the time travel. So how else are you going to have them be ignorant of what they've already seen? But then you also have characters that explicitly do not, that due to their own, their own... Uh, what's, motives. Do their own motives do not explain everything they know to other characters. Mm -hmm. For example, A. It's like we've already seen that he is obvious. First off, he's already suffering from amnesia. Mm -hmm. but, as you do. But uh, he also is being hunted by men in black and does not bring that up to other people because... Oh, man. And is he aware of the... <laughs> Is he right now aware of the shooting scene before that? Uh, yes. So he's he's kind. I th I can't remember if that's in. I I mean, even so, though I was watching this, I guess I wasn't paying attention enough to be like, wait, was this before or after he got amnesia? So was yeah, was he cognizant of his surroundings enough to shoot somebody, but not enough to know where he is? I guess that's what I'm wondering. <laughs> I, I well to be fair they do dress like <laughs> you know generic video game bad guys so uh -huh. maybe he just knew as soon as he saw that dude it's like oh man that's not an important character <laughs> yeah it's like huh, I, I he's a hostile I one. never remember what happened to me but I do have a gun in the holster here and I'm for some reason chasing this guy who looks like a villain so uh, all right <laughs> I guess I guess this is about right. Anyway, so if you're paying attention, uh, Morimura is a a school a school nurse, uh -huh. a uh, latex future resistance character, mm -hmm. and also dead. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you know, just keep all of this in mind for later. <laughs> Cause of death, um, all that junk inside her. Cause of death. I don't know. Maybe we'll see in ten hours. <laughs> Capture is not possible. But now we do know her eventual fate is to get killed at the start of a storyline. <laughs> uh, she's thirty-one years old. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Looks great. <laughs> Impressive. It it is a vanilla war game. It's still a vanilla war game. I'm sorry. It is still a vanillaware game. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll we'll get at least it's a vanillaware game into every single episode. That's what I. Uh, by the way, I went back and I named the first episode that. Because <laughs> I think it is only too, too apropos. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. She's a nurse. So why do you keep? This going... is confirming that she is in fact the same person. So why are you going between these two like? Things over and over. Okay. Hey, we gonna talk about the basic gameplay loop? Yes, let's do it. All right, let's talk about the basic gameplay loop. So every way that I'm going to approach everything in this game is that what we're gonna do is we're going to try to talk to a character or you know immediately examine some sort of object in front of us. That's the the immediate thing you need to do as soon as you start any sort of anything. Uh -huh. Come on, do something already. And then what we do is we run around in a circle to see if there's any more examinable like objects or if I can go off screen into a new area or anything, just something like that. Mm -hmm. And then, and then basically what we do is we read all of the things like in the thought cloud there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that'll also see, for example, I ran around in a circle and this, that caused this to happen. Yeah. 
Um, it, yeah, it's like I look at all the thought thought things that can sometimes open up new stuff. And then if all else fails, I wait around because sometimes that also causes stuff to happen. Too. They've got me surrounded. So this, this might not... So basically the, what you saw there was me trying to look through each one of the thought cloud things. And then what I did was I rubbed my body up against yes. every interactable object until one of the thought cloud things. You can actually tell if a thought cloud thing is going to activate because in the upper right corner there will be a red bar there. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to advance anything, but it doesn't mean that it was a possibility. At this point in time when I was playing it, I did not realize that that was happening. So this is not as sleek, not quite as sleek as like Hades or something, or, you know, like... Uh, uh, Gameplay-wise, no, it's a visual novel. <laughs> super, it's not like a super giant game, like... Uh, to be honest, these all could be one continuously sto continuous storyline, but they are not. <laughs> it's not even really a Spike Chunsoft game. Like this is not, this is not the most impressive gameplay-wise visual novel. No, but played. it still does require me to have gameplay, which is why I can't just watch streams. Uh, which is why I can't fully pay attention to the streams that I'm watching while I'm recording this. <laughs> okay. Anyway, after the escape. Katie Rivers, is that a dungeon? Or what are we weapons? doing now? That's a I good question. One that will back. not be. <laughs> to me? One that will not be answered, hey. or even explained very well for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Unless we end up doing this guy's storyline first, I don't know. Honestly, I think I might end up splitting up the storylines into like first fifty percent, second fifty percent, and we'll get through the first fifty percent of every every one of the characters because, of course, by the end of it, usually you have some sort of revelations going on that might ruin every other character's storyline. I don't know. Do yeah, I could totally see that. But the problem is that, you know, every character is going to have these revelations eventually and at different times. How long did you say this episode was going to be? <laughs> uh, I wanted to get through the tutorial. It's just like this is a this is a video that is four hours long. We can do the entire four hours, I suppose, if you want. <laughs> I do not want that. I do not want any part of that. I mean, I guess a part of it, obviously. Like we're doing a part of it, but like, yeah, we are. We are, we are in fact doing a part of it. I'd like to get through the tutorial right now, oh, and then have you choose. By the way, any one of the characters uh, striking your eye just yet? Um. I mean, there, there are so goddamn many of them, and we've seen so many of them having some sort of weird something happening to them. I, I guess. I mean, there's... For example, this right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is the first, like, actual, uh, like, really dramatic moment, I feel like, in the... We talked to a cat in one of the previous ones. <laughs> we talked to an idol on television in one of the previous ones. Like, I, I guess what I should say is this is one of the first times we're actually seeing, like, exposition. It's not just, oh, yeah, we all can travel, time travel, of course. You just go to the altar and time travel. And it's like, what do you mean? It's like, oh, you're on a mission. Uh, I, I'm an extraterrestrial or whatever. This is like, okay, I'm you from an alternate dimension. Or I'm you. And what is he trying to do? Um, he wants to do something. You got some, <laughs> got some motivation, I'm sure. It is. I mean, yeah. He wants. You must find it. And don't get caught. <laughs> and don't be caught. So find it and don't mm -hmm. be caught. Yeah. So I guess uh, this is a lot more of a MacGuffin and a lot less of an exposition than I originally thought when he started saying that. It told us nothing. Anyway, uh, oh. bye. Oh, by the way, it, uh, the oh the robot oh. Yeah, that was uh, yeah, that was the same robot as BJ from Not to Know Storyline. Okay. I mean, why do you say it like that though? Like, Still, that was the same robot from BJ's storyline. Uh, no, that was the same robot, BJ, BJ the robot. Okay. From Not to Know Storyline. Okay. If what that girl said is true. The one that she compared to ET <laughs> and even dressed up like ET. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> There's that. That's that's A's. First storyline. Episode seven. So this is episode seven of. <laughs> of. Of. Uh, probably like forty. <laughs> of thirteen. Yeah. Let's be honest. This is going to. This is going to be a long series. I don't. Uh, anyway. So that. So yeah. This, this is nineteen forty guy. Forties guy. Yeah, Kitaro yeah. Mira, and that's the other nineteen forties guy. Oh, there. Okay. Yama. That's the guy that wants to win the war for Japan. Okay. Okay. With the giant robots. Call back. I mean, it's not a callback. It's just literally something that happened. Callback. These all are characters in the in the game. <laughs> 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 
Oh, it's like we, we're going to be experiencing the full storyline for every one of these characters you're seeing right now. Oh, so there's going to be a full story. Why is that girl covered in bandages? Uh -huh. Well. Well, well wait, you know? was that the was that the the um, the school nurse or no? The school nurse is not pilot a sentinel. Okay. Well, then I don't know. She she's important to the storyline, obviously, she, but she does not pilot a sentinel. She probably got injured in one of the mech battles or something. Actually, a uh, very astute. But which mech battle? Because remember, all of these mech battles are taking place after the main storyline. Maybe um, the first mech battle in like 20... No. Nope. Oh, okay. Or... No. I just guess... Uh, wait, <laughs> let, me, let me search my memories. <laughs> well, but, but, oh, I, well I'm talking about episode one, like with the Trade Federation. Oh, don't worry. We're we're going. I believe that when the Shinamone might be next. When the Trade Federation attacked Naboo because of the black to break the blockade, or to to continue the blockade, whatever, one of those two. <laughs> Whichever one it is. That was when she got injured, when as queen of this humble planet. So, by the way, uh, can you give me an update on what's currently happening in the story right now? Again. <laughs> uh. So. There's a kid who has from an alternate dimension, and he's, uh, you know, found the school nurse dead and don't know why, and he killed the men in black, and then the rich kid he didn't kill is going, him. <laughs> by the way, that's a stun gun, is in his rec room when suddenly, ooh, I, now I gotta do something because this camera... This lady on the camera is talking to me. <laughs> That's a different character. That doesn't mean I know they're different characters. I I, I have that much cognizance. And then there's uh, a boy from 1944. We didn't talk about him. He is uh, he wants to win the war. And then there's another one who doesn't want to win the war. <laughs> or has no, some... they both want to win the war. Actually, no, I think uh, I think Mira is just more concerned about like his the alternate um, future. His uh, uh, sister or whatever it is. Okay. And I'm sure that's been established at some point, but I'm not. <laughs> I believe we did a mirror story last time. Maybe that one's coming up. God, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, your guess is as good as mine. Let me tell you, buddy. Oh, my God. And let me tell you. It's just like I, I actually, uh, prior to starting record the, cr recording this one, I um, recorded his full. Was that the full storyline? Yeah, I think that was the full one. No, nope. I think I got one more left to do. And let me tell you, it is something. <laughs> I, I, it seems like all the stories are pretty wild. Like, there's no, like, just straight... All the stories... Yeah, you know what? All the stories are pretty wild. Like, it, it doesn't seem like they're already, like, oh, this is a really straightforward character. I thought Jero, you know, who's, like, main main character protagonist, man, he's the guy that likes movies. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's always talking about the oh, I thought he was... Oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. That guy's story by the end of it. <laughs> now, is he actually the it's main character, would you say? Uh, God, yes, okay. yes. Uh, you know, well, yeah, I'll just say yes. Well, I would say like you know, in um, in Dungeon Robot, well, there are like clear protagonists. It is like there are like multiple protagonists. You wouldn't really call any of them like the most important necessarily. Like he Dungeon might. Well, no, he's not. <laughs> but, I mean, remember, he's actually two different people like, because he got a new personality. Oh, okay. So he got a new person. Like he was originally Jiro Izumi, and now he's Jiro Karabe. Uh, so he got a new personality. What? That feels like. Oh, he got a because of the amnesia. That that feels like a real cop out though, because if you, if you can have a different personality. Oh my god! Person. If you think that's a real fucking cop out, you haven't seen anything in this. I, game it's yet. like that uh, that like Smithers thing. If you th if you think for even a second that that's the worst one, it's, it's like when Mr. Burns asked, "Oh, R Richard Nixon is that is is that real, like Homer Nixon? Are, are, they, are they related?" And Smithers says, uh, "No, they spell and pronounce their names differently." <laughs> I mean, if you've got a different no, personality, you're, you're a different person as far as I'm concerned. Like, oh. Oh, oh, this game's got words on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course it does. Uh, yeah, there's a whole... Oh, what, 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 if, what if a character has the exact same personality? Are they still a different person? <laughs> <laughs> that easy for 
<laughs> we'll get to that later on, though. Oh, okay. So, no, they're, they're doing the whole Ship of Thieves. Like, well, what about the stuff that you replaced and that you made that Ship of Theseus. Why would that be a... Uh, what did I say? Ship of Thieves? Yes. Okay. I have to correct you on this. It's that... Uh, look... It's it's old uh, old Grecian philosophy and Sonic the Hedgehog. These are the two things that I have to immediately correct you on. <laughs> What's well, sort of like the like the great chain of being, isn't that? No, uh, I don't know. Phobos, oh my God, Demos, uh, Logos. This is, well, I mean, it's hardly the first time that we dealt with that, but don't worry, we'll do, we're doing it again, baby, <laughs> mm -hmm. on this channel. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! But, um, yeah, I suppose you probably should have seen that coming where it's just like, uh, personality, whatever. <laughs> That's what the cat's supposed to be doing, right? Is it getting back his original personality, if I remember correctly? No, the cat, did the cat used to be a person? The cat was never a person. You're thinking of Persona 5 again. <laughs> was it, wait, was Morgana actually ever a person? Do you not remember? We played that game for 107. No, he was a, he was a. Spoilers for Persona 5? I, he was do, like some kind of... Do I care? Yeah, I, I mean, was he like... Oh, whatever. Uh, what, Look, what, you should be watching all the series on the channel. Yeah, you need to, <laughs> you need to watch the Persona 5 series. That'll tell you. I mean, just like it told me, and I don't remember. Oh, hey, we're um we're done with the uh, the tutorial. Not quite yet, but let's at least see like the start here. Is that an Undertale So reference? I obviously... You keep saying uh, tutorial. The normal is it's still extremely easy, but what do you want? <laughs> and here's the main menu. So we got analysis, which is all of your like uh, log files and whatnot. We got remembrance, which again this that's your your hint that everything that everything is happening before the the thing. And then we got uh, and then we got destruction, which is the stuff that you're not going to see because that's just the gameplay stuff. Probe tag. Now we can selection. actually select main characters. I which one are you feeling? Which one are you feeling for next time? I don't know. Let's find out about the uh, the guy with. Amnesia. Which one? 